Hold fast, nations at war. Is it worth a buy, guys? Well, let's read the words, the words of the developer. Fight on multiple fronts in Hold Fast Nations at War, a competitive multiplayer first and third person shooter set during the Great Napoleonic Era, where Napoleon got beat. Charge into battle with over 125 players per server. Yes, guys, it's a multiplayer only Napoleonic Warfare game, and anybody who has Mountain Blade and has used uh, mods on that will be familiar probably with the Napoleonic Warfare mod for Mountain Blade. This is a very similar game, it just isn't as highly polished as that and lacks a lot of the features of that. But it does look a hell of a lot better. There's only two nations in at the minute, but more are on the way. Uh, we have the British, and we have the. Um, Surrender monkeys, <laughs> the French guys, but but the French were a powerful, powerful, powerful back in them days, guys. They were not to be not to be messed with. They weren't the croissant shaggers we know them as today. Mac, you can't say that. They were brave, noble men back in there. They would walk musket in hand. They would walk musket in hand towards certain death as they faced the red coats in many a battle, guys. They were brave men, brave men, and I have high, high regards for the French of that time. They were brave, brave men. They wouldn't even surrender at Waterloo. Merde, they said, merde. Macaron with it. So you choose your nation and then you are presented with the class selection screen. There is a load of classes in this game that absolutely nobody has a bloody clue what they do. All I know is that the riflemen have a much higher accuracy than any other uh, gun-toting class. But that's about it. The carpenter just seems to be bloody useless. He can't fix anything. He can't even put together two pieces of f***ing Lego. He is absolutely useless. There's a guy who carries a flag, which doesn't seem to do anything. There's a guy who plays the drums, which doesn't seem to do anything. There's a guy who has a fife, who doesn't seem... That's another instrument. Who doesn't seem to do anything at all. And basically, there's no instructions because it's f***ing sloppy. No instructions. Why build a game with all these classes and then not tell people who are buying your f***ing game what the classes do? Get f***ing with it, will you? All I know is that the captain, the captain can yell charge. Anyone can yell charge, but if the captain yells charge or the general, the people around him get a buff to melee damage for a few seconds. But that doesn't matter, guys, because the melee combat in this game is easily the worst melee combat I have ever seen in my natch. I mean, guys, you literally, literally, you couldn't hit an elephant up the arse with a f***ing banjo from one f***ing yard away in this game. It is just a lag-festing warpathon. That's all, people just vanishing and, and appearing. You, you're stabbing somebody who's there on your screen, but he's, he left that place five seconds ago he's now somewhere else and then it's all oh, right it's over there now is he oh, he's over there it's awful they, they are trying to fix this and they've actually released a patch just today that i haven't been able to test yet because it's only on one server and that server's just constantly full so we can't actually get on to test it but it needs serious serious work the actual shooting combat is fucking awful as well unless you're a rifleman if you're a rifleman, you'll pretty much hit all the time because they are just way overpowered. You can only be 10 of them in each battle, which is good. But these 10 people with the rifles, they're going to mop up. The naval combat, the naval side of things, I don't think is as good as Black Wake. Um, it has kind of the features of Black Wake, but because it's early and you can't seem to repair your ship, um, <laughs> you, you, you don't have a reload animation, the ships aren't as big, you don't have multiple decks on them. So I preferred uh, Black Wake to this in the in the naval, but hey, it's it's early days with this. That's the thing. It's early, early days, and I'm sure it'll get a lot better. And also, when your ship's going down, you can launch a life a lifeboat and jump in that, which is uh, quite good. But what's the what's the game actually like to play? Then once we've, now that we've got all the shit out the way, what's the game actually like to play? Well, like I say, you you choose your side, you choose your class. You're then thrown on the battlefield along with 125 other people and you are you're essentially playing capture and hold. Um, there'll be objective markers that you can see where you have to go and capture and then you can spawn there if you take that out but uh, that doesn't really work either. Um, so you end up spawning at the back all the time and having to run across the bloody battlefield which is a pain in the arse so it becomes a bit of a running simulator. But now and then the lag eases down a bit and you can actually shoot people and you can sometimes even stab people. All the times that I've actually stabbed people it's been pure luck just 
flailing a sword around like a bloody windmill and then I've killed somebody. Sometimes you kill your own people and uh, that can be unfortunate but hilarious at the same time. Ah! And that's the thing guys, this game is f***ing hilarious. It just is. I am just laughing all the time when I'm playing this game. I don't think I've ever laughed at a game as much as I laugh at this game. And I'm not laughing at it because it's so bad. I'm just laughing at it because it's so f***ing absurd. Playing a drum and other people have just decided to stand next to you and they're playing their drum, then somebody's playing the fife and he's playing a different tune altogether to what you're playing because you can see what other people are playing when you go to the music. It tells you in, in dark green what people are playing so you just select that and so you can play in tune with them. And you're just standing there and there's all hell breaking loose around you. All hell, all bloody hell is breaking loose around you. There's muskets firing people screaming people yelling charge and I'm just standing there playing the fucking drums even more comical than that was I was in the middle of this huge fight where there was a like a farmhouse with a cornfield and you know there was hell on absolute two lines of of soldiers fi firing at each other and making charge and getting repulsed and I decided to run into the farmhouse because there was a hell of a hell of a fight raging inside and outside the farmhouse and when I got inside there's a guy playing the fucking grand piano he's just in there and he no 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 and I'm like what the f there's hell on outside cannons ripping up past through the walls and stuff and he's just playing playing on the old Joanna you know You also get some really good laughs when someone who's like a captain tries to organize you and he like get you all in a line and you're all lining up and then you're just walking towards the enemy with the flag and with the drums and all that. It is so atmospheric and hilarious. It just, it doesn't matter that it's got f***ing lag. It doesn't matter that you don't know what the classes do. It doesn't matter that people are yelling all the time, these, these spamming the bloody... Uh, French bastards and all that and you thieving bastards and all this and the French are yelling back obscenities towards the British it doesn't matter that these things is just going on all the time it doesn't matter that you're missing with your muskets it doesn't matter that you can't even melee combat the game is just so much damn fun that you just can't stop playing it and I streamed this last night for about two hours I'll, put, I'll tell you what I'll put the link to the stream uh, in the description at the, at the underneath the video so you can go and watch me playing this for the first time last night it was about a two hour stream it's so immersive, immersive I actually even got immersed playing the bloody French you know it's it's just one of them games that is absolutely terrible but f***ing brilliant at the same time if they fixed this game it would be bloody brilliant it's so full of bugs that it's kind of like oh you can't thumb this up oh damn right I can I'm thumbing this up because I've never had so much fun in a game for ages. It doesn't matter about all the shit. I'm having fun in this game. It is not too shit that you can't have fun. You just haven't got to take it too seriously. It is no way is this a serious game. Oh yeah, it's a ser I'm going to go pro, man. I'm going to go pro on whole fast nations of war. Let's get a gill and go pro. No, it isn't that type of game. It's not that type of game. It's the type of game where you just think, right, I'm going to march towards the French with the f***ing Union flag with these two drummers standing next to us and we don't care if we get shot we are there for the morale we are there for the morale of the troops yes there's buffs that the musicians and the flag bearers give but I don't know what they are so I'm just doing it I'm just for authenticity I'm just walking towards the French with my flag with my drummers with my fife and drum and we are playing Welshmen never yield that's what we're doing and it is hilarious to do that it's just so hilarious you don't care who's top of the leaderboard all you do is you just have fun and I guarantee if you buy this game and you play it and you don't take it seriously you will laugh your tits off while you're playing it it's one of them games 14.99 for a game that's like this and gonna get better damn right it's worth a buy I absolutely love it even though it's shit but it's brilliant